this is our last story, last na lang yung story ha. Okay, so this story is entitled The Purple Char. So, kung saan ang purple, nang kanyo. Then, so, here's the story. Rosamond, a little girl of about 7 years old. This is si Tila Jun. Wala. Tila edad din mo dahil. So, manghood din mo siya si Rosamond. 7 years old siya. Was walking with her mother in the streets of London. So, dalakaw siya sa kasama daw. As he passed along, she looked in at the windows of several shops and she saw a great variety of different sorts of things of which she did not know the use or even the names. She wished to stop to look at them, but there was a great number of people in the streets with a gantao sa kasanda and a great many carts and carriages and wheelbarrows and she was afraid to let go her mother's hand. So, oh, mother, how happy I should be! said she as she passed a toy shop if I had all these pretty things. What? All? Do you wish for them all, Rosamond? Yes, Mama, all. Tubag siya, Tubag siya siya, Mama. As she spoke, they came to a milliner's shop. The windows were hung with ribbons and lace and pistons of artificial flowers. Oh, Mama, what beautiful roses. Won't you buy some of them? Tana siya kung palit siya ang mama of Rose. So, ningan niya mama is, No, my dear. So, dili na palit siya ang mama. Tana siya, Why? Because I don't want them, my dear. Hindi ganahan niya mama niya sa buwak kung hindi siya palit. They went a little farther and they came to another shop which caught Rosamond's eye. It was a jeweler's, jeweler's shop and there were a great many pretty bubbles ranged in drawers behind glass. Mama, You'll buy some of this. Which of them, Rosamond? Which? I don't know which, but any of them, for they are all pretty. Yes, they are all very pretty, but of what use would they be to me? Use? Oh, I'm sure you could find some use or other, if you would only buy them at first. But I would rather find out the use first. Rosamond was very sorry for her mother, wanted nothing. Presently, however, they came to a shop which appeared to her far, far more beautiful than the rest. It was a chemist's shop, but she did not know that. Oh, mother, oh, cried she, pulling her mother's hand. Look, look, blue, green, red, yellow, and purple. Oh, mama, what beautiful things. Won't you buy some of this? Still, her mother answered as before. What use would they, buy, would they be to me, Rosamond? You might put flowers in them, Mama, and they would look so pretty in the chimney piece. I wish I had one of them. So you have a flower vase, said her mother, and that is not for flowers. But I could use it for a flower vase, Mama, you know. Perhaps if you were to see it nearer, you were to examine it, you might be disappointed. No. I'm sure I should not. I should like it exceedingly. Rosamond kept her head turned to look at the purple vase till she caused to see it no longer. Then, mother said she after a pause, Perhaps you have no money. Yes, I have. Dear me, if I had money, I would buy roses and boxes and purple flower pots and everything. Rosamond was obliged to pause in the midst of her speech. Oh, Mama, would you stop a minute for me? I have got a stone in my shoe. It hurts me very much. How comes there be a stone in your shoe? Because of this great hole, Mama. It comes in there. My shoes are quite worn out. I wish you'd be so very good as to give me another pair. So, nine, Rosamond, but I have not money enough to buy shoes and flower pots and boxes and everything. Rosamond thought that was a great pity, but now her foot, which had been hurt by the stone, began to give her so much pain that she was obliged to hop every other step, and she could think of nothing else. She came to a shoemaker shop soon afterwards. So, sakit yan til kay yahang sapatos kay buslot na isuot na kay pato. There, there, Mama, there are shoes. There are little shoes that would just fit me. And you know shoes would be really of use to me. Yes, so they would, Rosamond, come in. 
she followed her mother into the shop. Mr. Soul, the shoemaker, had a great many customers and his shop was full, so they were obliged to wait. Well, Rosamond, said her mother, you don't think this shop so pretty as the rest. No, not nearly. It's black and dark, and there are nothing but shoes all around. And besides, there were very disagreeable smell. That smell is the smell of new leather. Rosamond's disappointment did not end here. Many were the difficulties and distresses into which her imprudent choice brought her before the end of the month. Every day, her shoes grew worse and worse till at last she could neither run, dance, jump, nor walk in them. So whenever Rosamond was called to see anything, she was pulling up her shoes at the heels and was sure to be too late. Whenever her mother was going out to walk, she could not take Rosamond with her. For Rosamond had no soles to her shoes and at length on the very last day of the month. It happened that her father proposed to take her and her brother to Glass House, which he had long wished to see. She was very happy, but when Father Ah, uh, but when she was quite ready, had her at the gloves on and was making haste downstairs to her brother and father, who were waiting on the hall door for her, the shoe dropped off. She put it on again in a great hurry, but as she was going across the hall, her father turned around. Why are you walking slipshod? No one must walk slipshod with me. Why, Rosamond? said he, looking at her shoes with disgust. So that is our story, our poor story all about African children. Then. So thank you for listening. Salamat sa pagpuminaw and I hope you've learned something out from the story. So let's give up. Let's clap our hands. Yay! Thank you!